Now this is the video for those people who love Java 8. Now in Java 8 you have a concept of lambda expression. So you can implement lambda expression in this video or in this code. Uh, so let's see how to implement lambda here. Now what is, uh, if you don't notice lambda expression, so lambda expression only works on functional interface. So what exactly functional interface is? Uh, uh, it's an interface with only one method declaration. So whenever you have only one method in your interface, that interface is called as functional interface. And this naming convention comes on, uh, came only uh, in uh, Java 8. So if you are a Java 6 and Java 7 developer, so you might uh, not be knowing this. In fact, if you are an academic student, like if you are doing MCA or BSc IT, uh, what you, you, people were, you, you people learn is Java 2 or Java 5. So in Java 8, you have this concept of lambda expression, which is again a remarkable change in Java. So let's say how to implement lambda here. Now, where to use lambda? Whenever you work with functional interface, you should work with lambda. Now, if you can focus on this method called as action listener, just let me type it once again here. It's add action listener. You can see if I say control space, it says this method add action listener accept only one object which is of object of action listener. Right? So what we can do is when we know the only object it will accept is action listener, then why we need to write this? Obviously, it will need an object of action listener. This action listener has only one method which is action performed then why to write that method? The main logic here is this object which is AE and this code, right? So we can remove this, this all these lines, these lines are called as boilerplate code which is not needed but still we use it. So what we can do is we can remove this code and we can write only this part. So once again, let me uh, remove all this data so that we can write it again. See what we have here, we have b dot action listener in this bracket. The only thing I have to mention is I need to say there will be an object of new, uh, there, there will be an object of action listener. In this, there will be a method called as action perform. The only thing I'm concerned is about the name of that object of uh, the parameter, which is AE. In this AE method, there should be some lines and that's why we use this uh, arrow symbol and this, this arrow symbol also means uh, lambda expression. And then we can use bracket open and bracket close to define the method. So we'll take a bracket here and just paste your code which is this code. So copy and paste. So let me reformat it. Okay, so now uh, you have now we can see we have only mentioning the parameter name and the actual logic. We have removed that boilerplate code which we have written in the earlier tutorial which was new action listener. Uh, let me type that again so that you can see the difference. Uh, let me type that in uh, comment. So it was b dot add action listener in this new action listener in bracket in bracket what you specify is public uh, let me close the bracket here it is public void action performed it is action event ae and then bracket And then this logic. So this this code, copy and paste. Now see, both this code means same. They do the same thing. But if you can see, the number of lines has been reduced. So instead of writing all this code till here, we can directly mention AE and Lambda expression. So Lambda expression only works in Java 8. So make sure you're working with Java 8 to work with this. 
Now to work with Java 8, you have to install JDK 8, which I'm using here, and you need to work with NetBeans 8. So if you're using any earlier version of NetBeans, maybe NetBeans 7 or Java 7, this code will not work. So let me run this code. Let me remove this now. Let me run this code now. So let's say, right click, run, and bingo. Still, it's working. Let's check the output. So it's say 5, and again 2, and the answer is 7. So you, we can use three logic or first you can implement an interface, you can directly get object of interface and then we can use lambda expression. So that's it from this video and do subscribe for the further videos.